Welcome back, it's Timo with Timo Paints and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to properly prep spindles for paint on a banister hand railing for steps. So stick around and don't go anywhere. All right, so this house here, what we got is uh, we're not painting the actual banister part, which is this top part here. So all of the wood areas, we're gonna go ahead and leave wood, but we are repainting the white. So yesterday we came in and we sanded down everything and got it nice and cleaned up, dusted, wiped down with the wet damp, well not a wet rag, but like a damp rag. And then we took our putty knives, we wrapped the putty knife up around a rag and then that gets um, inside of the little crevices that's hard to reach with just a rag. So now we got Eddie, he's taping up all the walls so we can get that molding done. So he's gonna be focused on that. Right now what I'm doing is wrapping off the banister and this is how I like to do it. So first I like to run a small, this is half inch blue tape. And you probably wanna use blue tape or frog tape's fine too, but um, on anything that's like stained or lacquered like this because what ends up happening is you can pull the finish off. So we use delicate surface tape to prevent that from happening. So that's a little pro tip for you. Uh, second little pro tip is use one piece. When you gotta do this, you have to go all the way around and it can be real tedious and time consuming. But first what I like to do is do strips like this. Do a strip all the way down from end to end. All the way down. That way when you go to tear it off, you could start here and just peel this long piece of tape back and it'll like pull off an edge of each one of these spindles. That way you're not just sitting there picking at the tape. Fortunately for us, we don't have to wrap off the bottom, but we do have to wrap off all the walls and all of the carpet. So long day of wrapping, but after you do that, you go ahead and just put, you know, a piece on either side. And what that'll do is it'll cover up the majority of it. Now make sure that you don't have the tape touching the spindle because that could leave issues and you could cause bridging when you're spraying it and then if you peel this off it could potentially peel the paint off of the spindle we don't want that so make sure you know you're just like a little you know chin hair away from the actual piece that's getting painted and then after you get those done and i like to do things in batch processing i like to do all of this first all of the side ones first and then i'll come back and i'll fill in these little triangular areas that are still exposed like this so it should look like that when you're done and like this. Then after we get it looking like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back through and we'll fill up those spots that are still exposed. But what we'll do is we'll use a wider tape. So we'll probably use the inch and a half blue tape to cover up that. And then from there, we'll wrap it with paper. But it's really important that you get it all sanded down and you don't wanna sand down to where it hits the wood Unfortunately, some of the corners you will end up burning off and you'll get some wood exposed, but that's not a big deal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.